Overcoming picky eating. Manage your child's food preferences and understand their food aversion so you can raise a healthy eater. The essential balance between pain and pleasure of food. By Gideon Shelley, focuses on addressing the challenge many parents face when dealing with their children's picky eating behaviors. The book begins by acknowledging the complexity of picky eating in children, emphasizing that it's a common and often frustrating issue for parents. Shelley understands that while some children's picky eating behaviors are part of a normal developmental phase, for others it can be more persistent and challenging to overcome. Central to Shelley's approach is the idea that food preferences in children are not simply a matter of taste, but are deeply rooted in a variety of factors, including psychological, social, emotional, and physiological influences. He posits that understanding these underlying causes is critical to developing effective strategies to manage and overcome picky eating. Shelley discusses the difference between food aversion and picky eating, noting that aversion is often based on a negative experience related to food, such as choking or food poisoning, leading to an emotional and physiological response that can be much harder to overcome. On the other hand, picky eating is often characterized by a reluctance to try new foods or a strong preference for a limited range of foods without such an intense negative experience. The book emphasizes the concept of balance between the pain and pleasure of food. Shelley explains that children, like adults, are motivated by the pleasure they derive from eating. This pleasure can be influenced by taste, texture, and even the social environment surrounding mealtimes. Conversely, Pain associated with eating can stem from negative experiences or fear of the unknown that new foods represent. Shelley offers readers practical advice on how to create a positive eating environment for children. He encourages parents to expose their children to a wide variety of foods from an early age, fostering an openness to new tastes and textures. He cautions against using food as a reward or punishment, as this can create an unhealthy relationship with food. One significant strategy Shelley presents is the importance of family mealtime. Eating together as a family provides an opportunity for children to observe others' eating behaviors, experience a range of foods in a social and supportive setting, and learn about the cultural significance of certain foods and dishes. Shelley advocates for involving children in the cooking process, which can demystify food and increase their interest in trying something they have helped to prepare. The author also addresses the role of persistence and patience on behalf of the parents. Introducing new foods may require multiple exposures before a child is willing to try or accept them. Shelley advises parents to be consistent but not forceful, allowing children to explore foods at their own pace while providing gentle encouragement. Portion size and presentation are also highlighted in the book as factors that can influence children's eating habits. Shelley suggests offering small portions of new foods alongside familiar favorites and presenting them in an appealing and fun manner to entice children to taste them. Shelley touches on the role of nutrition and the importance of a balanced diet, explaining that a variety of foods is crucial for children to receive all the necessary nutrients. At the same time, he cautions against being overly fixated on nutrition to the point where it creates tension at mealtimes. Instead, the goal is to promote a healthy outlook towards eating that equates to a balanced diet over time, rather than a perfect nutritional balance in every meal. An important point Shelley makes is regarding the influence of external factors such as media, advertising, and peer pressure on children's eating behaviors. He discusses the impact of marketing tactics used by companies promoting less healthy food options and the importance of educating children about these influences. The author also addresses potential issues such as sensory processing disorders and other developmental or medical concerns that may contribute to picky eating. He advises seeking professional help in these instances to ensure that any underlying conditions are addressed, while still applying the general principles of gradual food introduction and positive reinforcement. Shelley acknowledges that overcoming picky eating often requires a tailored approach considering the individual child's preferences, experiences, and developmental stage. He emphasizes the role of empathy, encouraging parents to see things from their child's perspective 
and understanding the emotional components of eating. In conclusion, Overcoming Picky Eating by Gideon Shelley offers a comprehensive and practical guide for parents seeking to understand and influence their child's eating behaviors. Through a mix of psychological insights, nutritional knowledge, and hands-on tips, Shelley equips parents with the tools to help their children develop healthy relationships with food that can last a lifetime. By advocating for patience, persistence, and a positive outlook, his book serves as a resource for parents to turn the sometimes painful process of addressing pickiness into a pleasurable journey towards raising a healthy eater. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.